Find the area given each described situation. Include a drawing of the shape with the included information. Show all work. As in the examples, if units are included, then units should be present in your final result. Round answers to the tenths, which is one decimal place, unless otherwise indicated. Number one, find the area of a square with side length 4.2 feet. We begin with a square and we'll label two adjacent sides 4.2 feet. We do not have to label all four sides because opposite sides have the same length. And now the area formula for a square is A equals S times S, which equals S squared, where A is the area and S is the length of one side. And therefore the area is equal to the square of 4.2, which is equal to 4.2 times 4.2. Let's find this product. So we have 4.2 times 4.2. Because this factor has one decimal place and so does this one, one plus one is equal to two, the product must contain two decimal places. But first we multiply like we normally do. Two times two is equal to four. Two times four is equal to eight. Add a zero and now multiply by four. Four times two is eight and four times four is 16. Add, four plus zero is four. Eight plus eight is 16, perform an exchange. One plus six is seven and then we have a one. Because our quotient must contain two decimal places, starting on the far right, we move two decimal places, the quotient is 17.64. And this should make sense because we know that four squared is equal to 16, and therefore the square of 4.2 is more than 16. So the exact area is 17.64, or 17 and 64 hundredths, and the units would be square feet. But the directions do say round to the tenths place value, so we'll also give a decimal approximation for this area. Rounding to the tenths place value, the four and the hundredths indicates to round down, and therefore we say the area is approximately 17.6, or seven and six tenths square feet. For number two, we're asked to find the area of a rectangle with sides of length 4.2, and 3.8. Notice here we're not given units, but we can still label the area square units. Using this rectangle, we'll label the shorter length, 3.8, and the longer length, 4.2. Here are two equivalent formulas that we can use to determine the area of a rectangle. Area equals length times width, or area equals base times height. Using the formula area equals length times width, we would have the area A is equal to the so length is usually the longer length, so we'd have 4.2 times 3.8. And now let's find the product. So we have 4.2 times 3.8. Again, because this factor has one decimal place and so does this one, the quotient must contain two decimal places. So first we multiply. Eight times two is 16. Perform an exchange with the one. Eight times four is 32, plus one is 33. Add a zero and multiply by three. Three times two is six, and three times four is 12. Now we add, six plus zero is six, three plus six is nine, three plus two is five, and we have a one. And now this quotient must contain two decimal places. So starting on the far right, move over two decimal places, the quotient is 15.96, which means the exact area is 15.96. Because we're not given units, we'll say square units. And now we are asked to round this value to the tenths place value, which will give us an approximate area. Notice how we have a six in the hundredths place value, which indicates we round up. So we increase the nine to 10, and therefore we perform an exchange and add one to the five, giving us 16.0, run it to the nearest tenths. It is important that we include the point zero because this does indicate we rounded to the tenths place value. If we just put 16, it would look like we rounded to the ones place value. And this should make sense because we're saying 15.96 is closer to 16.0 than 15.9. I hope you found this helpful.